Good morning everybody and welcome to my channel Stitching with the Dachshund Isn't that cute? I showed it in my last video but I had to show it again Well welcome to all my subscribers and if you happen to come by me uh, just by chance, welcome This is going to be my uh, 2018 roundup and what am I going to do for 2019? Because 2019 I want to uh, get involved in the year whips. And so I'm going to go through my 2018 finishes and then into my plans for 2019. So, since I just put out a video yesterday and a video about my unboxing, uh, we can skip all the life updates. Yay! And we can get right into stitching this time. So, I've got a whole big pile over here. And I'm really excited. Um... Uh, when you look at it, what you've done. Okay, so to get started, my first piece that I finished in 2018 was something that I actually started in 2017, and it's just some ornaments. I think they're adorable. I love those old style of ornaments like that. As a matter of fact, I told Robert that I think that I need a pair of Christmas boots with those ornaments on them. Why not, right? I'm married to a boot maker, I might as well take advantage of it. Okay, so the other thing that I started and finished a few was a monthly series, Snowflower, Snowflower Diaries. Um, so we'll just get started. How am I going to do this? Will this help? Should have thought this through a little bit better. All right, that's February. I want January. There we go. So, this is the January one, and if you see this little charm right here, the fox, is because I did not, the, the border did not match up, and I was like, what am I going to do? I'm not going to take all that out, and so I said, I'll just do that, and it worked out just fine. So, this is February. I wanted to choose some really pretty fabric for these uh, and Trixie helped me at the uh, needlework shop that I go to and, which would be Needleworks in Coppers Cove, Texas. My hat's going to bother me, but oh well. Um, March. cute one. Let's see if I can get this up. April. That I believe is one of my favorites because of the color that it's on. It just turned out good. Good, good, good. This is going to be May. June, I started at the Needleworkers um, retreat that I went to uh, in July. So excited about the retreat that I messed up the bear and had to start the bear all over again. But I did, and I'm glad I did because it turned out just amazing. I love him. Oop, there he is. All right, so that was June. July is such a fun color. Um, this was fun to pick out with Trixie and change the colors up but a little bit because of the material, but it turned out great, I think. Let me see if I can back that material up. There you go. You get a little bit more uh, idea of the color. I loved it, love it, love it. August was a cute puppy. And September, this one I probably need a backing. September. Oh, aren't they pretty? I love them. So. I still have October, November, and December to finish on those, but 
I will, they're going to put the, I think I'm going to put those in my year of whips anyway, so I will get them finished. Another one that I finished was B. I enjoyed working on this little fellow, and it has a little bead right there. It was fun. Now, this I finished for my daughter. I want to say I did finish it this... I think it was this year. Or maybe I put it in this year because I had framed it. Anyway, I finished this for Sarah. I am iffy if this was 2017 or 2018. It's okay, I'll show it. It's You Are My Sunshine. Uh, if you see the things hanging from it here, um, we had actually framed this. I'd found a frame that I liked and we put in a frame. But during one of her moves, or during her move, uh, it, uh, alcohol spilt on it and a black shirt was right there. So it made that stain in there and I have not been able to get the stain out yet. So, uh, it is what it is. Um, she says she's going to love it anyway, so it's all right. So, I started the 12 days of Christmas. I might have started the first one and the second one maybe in 2017, but that's okay. I'm going to show them. Uh, this is the first day. Second day. These were really fun. Third day. Fourth day. This is really the the snowflakes are the design on that. It's really pretty. I like that one. Fifth day. And sixth day. That little goose took me forever. Okay. So I still need to do the seventh through the twelfth. Um, once again, I think I'm gonna put those on my year whip so that I'm so competitive that I will probably push through and do it. Um, so, uh, kind of still at the beginning of the year, I really didn't have a lot of patterns. If you see that the, uh, two main ones that I've shown you were free patterns from, um, off the, off the web. Um, and, uh, I bought the snowflake, uh, snow ornaments, Christmas ornaments ones. So I didn't have a lot of patterns at the time. I found this one in a magazine also, <coughs> and, uh, started working on it. I still am madly in love with it. I am going to frame this one. If y'all have seen it. If you follow me on Instagram or if you watched any of my other videos, you've seen this one. It has a manu medieval manuscript part two that I, I have. Uh, and I, my plan is to do it. But it also has a nativity one that a friend, um, I couldn't find it, and a stitchy friend found it and behold, sent it to me. I was just blown away. Um, so, but you'll see that one in my 2019 plans. So that kind of got, took me away from the 12 days. Um, and when I, because I've really focused on that a lot. Um, I bought this material. Chicken wire, beehive, whatever you want to call it. Because I'm going to put this, a bunch of the bee cottage patterns on it. So this is the only one I have on it right now. I have two other patterns that are going to be in uh, the next video. Uh, another series that I started was uh, the weenie ones. Um, now I finished Halloweenies in 2017 so but I started working on these in 2018 this is a uh, winter wiener winter wienerland isn't it cute I love it um, I got hair that just keeps tickling me right there I don't know why this is spring rose <laughs> it's so cute I love these. I do. I do. Um, this one cracks me up. Turkey sausage. 
I actually use this one on the turkey sal because of the turkey um this where's he at right there the turkey on the dachshund's tail so turkey sal um jeans and weenies i love this one because of the eagle I think he's over here holding the flag on the back of the dachshund so cute um and then i have the teeny weenies with the teeny teeny weenie on top of another teeny weenie okay so those were those and I've now I've completed all of those so I'm really excited um I was talking to my husband how to finish them and he was like you ought to make a pillow where you can just flip the sides you know so you're not uh, storing a bunch of stuff and I was like that's a good idea I like it I think I'll go with that one um this is a fun one that I enjoy doing I believe it's called Halloween Arrival. And a lot of people miss this little dude up here because he happens to be invisible. So let me point him out. The invisible man. It's very hard to stitch with that invisible thread. But I mustered through it. Alrighty. Uh, when this came out at a uh, market this last year, I was, I had to have it. It made me so happy. So I made it. Isn't it gorgeous? It's one of my favorite bees. Um, my thought was when I got this finished that you could get an alphabet with these. That I want to say she didn't include it in the pattern, but then if you bought the pattern, then you could email her and she would give you the, the letters. Um, since this is a B, I kind of want to do it again for me, but put an R in it. Uh, but I don't know, that B is really close to what looks like an R. So we'll see. I don't know if I'll redo it or not. Um, started this Halloween piece I loved doing every bit of this piece look at those crows and those trees and that big old house. I had to do a blood moon. I didn't think about it in time. Or I would have done the blood moon up here in the top one, the big one. Uh, but I'd already stitched that when I thought about, oh, I could put a blood moon on that. So the half moon, or quarter moon, is a, uh, is a blood moon. Um, oh my God, this was so, I love this one. This was the first time I'd worked with wool on a cross stitch pattern. I'd done the Bayou Tapestry and things like that in my medieval group, but look at that bad boy. And you'll see that he is actually on a board. Do you know why he's on a board? Because I had actually framed him. Yep. There he goes. Um, I had found a frame that I liked. I framed him, hung it on the wall beside my bed. Went to move from hanging it, got it on the wall. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. I love it, got excited. I hit it, knocked it off, shattered glass everywhere. It hung on my wall maybe a minute and I destroyed it. So it's still on the pat on the backing, but I've just got to find another um, frame for it now. This is, oh glory. Oh my God, was this fun to do. Oh, I love this one. Love, love, love this one. And I put buttons on it. And this is a button with a bead. And these are beads in here. I just had a really good time doing that one. Really good time. Enjoyed the heck out of that one. Here's one of my favorites. And when I saw this one, I knew I had to do it. But I didn't want to do it in the colors that I was seeing it in. Which were pretty, but just didn't suit me. I wanted to do it my way. So here there be monsters. My way. It is, it is one of my favorites. Um, and I do want to get this one framed. There's a few that I, I that I'll say that I definitely want to get framed. Um, 
Kitten Stitcher, Teresa, Shakespeare's Peddler, came out with a basket of eggs. And I am going to, it says eggs on it too, if you can see that. I bought her second one, basket of red, white, and blue, uh, and haven't done it yet. Um, but it's on the list to do. This is another one that I love, and I do want to get it framed too. I just, when I started this one, I could not stop. I loved it so much. Not only that, I follow the hashtag. Let me see if I can get up there. For this one. Because I like to watch all the other people and how they're doing it. It's just beautiful. I love everything about this one. Oh, it's gorgeous. It is, it is, oh. This one is one of those ones that just make you happy. Very happy. So, I'm going to get that one framed. Uh, speaking of frames, and I'll try to enter it here. It was, I, I finished it. I, so I'm jumping ahead a little bit because I don't want to forget it. But I did, uh, finish uh, the Firefly Sampler from Phantom Cross Stitchery. And um, it's in the framers right now. So I will uh, try to insert a picture of it. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've definitely seen that one before. Now, I am from Texas, and we have the Texas Stitcher Face Group page, which I love. And I get to correspond with other Texas Stitchers. And Hane from the Stitch and Misfits made us all Texas Stitcher badges. I am really proud of this one because that's the font that she used when she made the badge. So everybody says Texas Stitcher and has your name there. But it's in this crazy wonky uh, font. And I was like, I want to do this for a badge when I go to retreats. And, uh, but I want that font. And so I was, I did it. I was like, okay, this, and I had to really think about it, but I did it. And I'm really proud of uh, that I accomplished the, the font on this. I love it. I need to finish it up. I love it. I think I'm going to say that a lot. I have said that a lot. This is an Amish piece. Amish Country Life, I think it was called. Gifted to me by Hane. When I got to meet the missing Stitching Misfits. Um, and I like them so much I had to do a piece that they had given me, and I like this one. And by the way, I miss the Stitch and Misfits. I really would love to see y'all again. Y'all would make my day when I saw y'all. All right. Give thanks for this day. Now that it's done, I love it. I do. I'm going to make a flat fold out of this one. I did not enjoy stitching it, though. It was these vines. They were just, I don't know what about it. I did, and I love white pumpkins, so I really don't know what it was, but I did not like to do the vines. Um, I actually uh, sent this off to a friend, another stitching buddy. Um, hey, Chicky from Jen Stitching Niche. Her first, I think she said she first, her first charted piece uh, and she got uh, special threads made. D Weeks Dye Works? I don't know which uh, company. But you could, um, if you got the kit, you got the pattern, uh, you, I believe everything, and even the backing material. Look at those chickens. Love chickens. Chickens, dachshunds, red birds, cardinals, um, bees, any of those. I love. So, anyway, oh, and she had these little buttons made, too. So, you even got the buttons in the kit. So, I enjoyed doing that. And it's a finish. Wow, me, I finish. Okay. Vicki from Stitch in Buttons is going to this next year do a coffee sow, which, uh, from the sound of it, is any coffee piece join in on the sow. And I want to have... When we build our house, I want to have a coffee bar, and I want to have this on my coffee bar, or above my coffee bar. I know you've all seen it, um, but this is another one that I thought, 
I like it, but I didn't like it in the colors that it showed. So I did my own thing. And I love my own thing. It's another hashtag that I follow because I love to see what other people do on it. But I don't know if you can see the variegation in the thread. I hope you can. Robert helped me with my lenses, lenses yes, last night. So it's better than what it has been. Oh, and this is another. The Stitch and Coven Facebook, I want to say. Or Bewitched Stitches. Um, did a Halloween sale. And um, so I jumped on, on that one. And I had to do this. Um, I seen this. I saw this pattern. And it when a pattern makes you laugh, like this pattern made me laugh, you, you have to buy it and you have to do it. Uh, and I dyed the material. I had the material at home already. So, tis Halloween. Oh, my God. <laughs> she is on in a sleigh. Look at the cat. Can you see the cat behind her? I love it. And the reindeer. It's a green witch. Long hat. All these little designs around it. It just, it spoke to me. I loved every second of doing that one. As a matter of fact, I joined the cross stitch, the, the, the sow, or the stitch, uh, yeah, I guess it was a sow. Uh, and I finished it like in a couple days. Because it's on Ada, it's a large count. It was really quick, really easy, but I enjoyed it. Um, still working on a little bit of cross stitch. This is another one that I saw, and the minute I saw it, I was like, I gotta have it. I truly love that. She's got another one out of Christmas one. And I wanted to get it. And you know what? I've kind of forgot about it. I need to go in and look at it and find it and get it maybe. Um, this one, I hope you can see it, is bless this house or bless this home. Um, I started doing this one over one and the weave was really kind of loose. So I did not enjoy stitching it. Look at the dog um, only because of the the material that I chose so it is supposed to have bless this home down here and some vine work up here and I was like I can't do any more of it uh, you know you don't have time to stitch something that you really are not enjoying but I love the picture so I won this frame at the uh, needleworkers retreat I went to last July and I've been looking for a piece to put in there this is just a little too big. You kind of lose the dog. You kind of lose a little bit of the bush, but it fits, and I got it in there. Okay, the last cross stitch piece that I did, that I have finished for 2018, because the only thing I might get done for 2018 is the, the penguin one, and that's a gift. So the rest of them will definitely be in 2019. But it, home is where your honey is. Oh, my gosh. Sweary Stitcher Regina got this one for me, and um, she got the pattern for me, and I ordered the material because I'm like, that has to be on that material. So I did that. This is another one that I want to get framed. Um, so along with that, I've done some crocheting, um, but I'm not going to show you that, but I am going to show you the embroidery that I've that I've worked on a little bit. And I've only worked on this maybe in November, December. But a uh, little bit of joy, stockings, the bells. Reindeer. Looks good. And the house. I have some more of those to work on, um, and I think I'm going to make like a wall hanging with those. Um, let me see. Let me put this over here, and I want to show you that the other thing that I worked on this last year is I'm trying to work on a, learn a little bit about quilting. I'm not going to get really deep into it, but so I could do some little lap quilts or something. 
So if you follow me on Instagram, or you seen, you might have seen this before on one of my before on one of my videos, but it is a little lap throw that I made from a panel that was at Hobby Lobby. I saw it and it's like I gotta make that. But look at the back material. It's just gorgeous. But I tried to sew it on my machine, so I have a ton of puckers, and I'm not happy with. A few puckers I've been okay with. This has a ton of puckers. I just was like, it was unwieldy, and I don't have a quilting machine. It's a regular old sewing machine. So I, uh, I kept that for myself because I thought at first I was going to give that away as a baby blanket for my niece that was born in November. Um, but then I came up with another idea, and I'm actually hand quilting it, so I won't get the puckers. Um, I'm not going to show that today either. The other thing that I want to share with y'all is uh, I did some project bags. And I want to share these with you because I don't sew. I really honestly don't sew. Um, I don't have a desire to make clothes or anything like that. Um, and I'm dyslexic, so I get things turned around very easily. And it's very frustrating for me. Um, I've tried. I've tried. And people have tried to teach me. Um, but I have not done well. So, I really wanted some project bags for when I started really getting into cross-stitch. And um, I didn't really have the money to put out to buy them, although they're reasonably priced and all of that. Um, it just, starting out, I'd rather spend money on, um, on, my, on finding patterns. Because when I first started, I didn't have patterns. I just started um, collecting free patterns. Um, so... These are, I wanted to show you some that I did. Because I'm really super proud of them because I don't sew. They're not great. They're not perfect by any means. But I'm very proud of them because I, I managed to get, get them together. can't see the inside on this one but I have another one that you might be able to but I love Cardinals so I fell in love with that cowboy boots you know I had to have some cowboy boots and the inside of this one is like wood planks <laughs> doggy stuff and then doggy prints inside good old Reminds me of summer and barbecue. And just a blue front on that. This I just fell in love with. Um, so I made a couple of these for me. The mat material inside is, isn't that cute? I like that. So a couple of those. A Halloween one with some stripies inside. To a coffee one. I got some more material, so I want to make some more. This is my Christmas one. It's a bigger one because it holds um, a lot of the Christmas stuff. Not just one project. It holds several Christmas projects. This is America. God bless America. Greatest country in the world. There you go. Patriotic. Look at the star and the horsey. Can't get more patriotic than that. And then the stars on the inside. Um, uh, you can't really see the inside on this one either, but the right here is the material that's in the uh, cardinal bags. Um, I like that one. And the inside is that. Isn't that cute? Those are just wonderful. And then another America bag. God bless America. And I had, <clears throat> one of the things I do is I love embroidering. I love all types of embroidery, but cruel, cruel work I love. And I found this pillow sham, and it reminded me of cruel embroidery. So I kept this pillow sham for years. Wouldn't get rid of it. Either two moves. I kept this one silly 
<laughs> pillow champ. Well, guess what I made with it? I made a project bag. I didn't have really, really pretty material to go in on this one because I got excited and had to make it. So I did. Isn't that a pretty one? Ah, oh, dang, that's pretty. I love it. And I think that that is all my project bags. That is stuff that I've managed to get done in 2018. I hope 2019 is as fruitful as this. Um, I've showed you... I have plans next, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little break. I'm going to clean this up, and then I'm going to get out my uh, 2019 plans and go over that with you. So I will see you back in a few minutes. Hello everybody and welcome back. This is the section where I'm going to go over my 2019 plans and my ideas of what I want to get done for 2019. I hope and pray that I am able to accomplish as much in 2019 as I did in 2018. So if you don't know, welcome to Stitching with the Dachshund. I love this thing. So let's just get right into it. I really want to be a part of the year of whips this year. And so I've listened to Melanie and uh, Watkins, I believe. Listen to her video on what, what you have what you have to do for 2019. Uh, you have to have, I believe she said 18 whips. Um, and I have 21. Kind of, sort of. I have uh, less than that that actually have um, stitches in them. But I have 21 that I actively want to get done for for 2019. So I'm going to put a few stitches in all of those and so I can consider them whips and uh, move along with them. She did say series. They didn't necessarily have to have this stitch stitch in it. Um, but I'll probably go on and put a few stitches in it just to make sure that I am. I'm a rule follower. Can't help it. Um, so anyway, um, I want to get into my plans. First one that I'm going to add unto my uh, year of whips is, now this is just one that I've already done so that you can see it. It is the 12 days of Christmas. I have done up to the sixth day of Christmas and lost steam on it, not because I don't like them or not because I'm bored with them, but because I have so much other stuff that I love and I love them all and I want to do them all. But uh, when it comes down to it, I'll pick up something else. Um, so I thought if I put 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 on the year of whips, then I would get it done. And uh, they're not in a series on one big piece. They're separate. So I feel like I need to put a stitch in each one of them before I can actually count them as a whip. So that's a big chunk of it right there. Yes, they're not that big. I should, if I put my mind to it, get done. I'm, I love competition. I compete with myself all the time. And I love to challenge myself, so I think your whips will be good for me. Last year I didn't have enough whips to do it, so but I do this year, so I'm going to do it and hopefully get a lot done. I got off traffic, off subject again. I'm sorry. So the first one is the seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, and twelfth day of Christmas. Hopefully I can get that done. The second one that I'm putting on there is, and I'm going to show you the pattern. Uh, way back here you really can't make out make it out at all I found that in a book I started it and this is where I've gotten on it and once again it's nothing that I dislike I like it just got caught up in some other stuff uh, but definitely want to get back to this I love the material it's on it's got a little sparkle to it not a lot but I love the material. I love the pattern. Uh, there's another one. There's a blue one that I haven't even started. So it's nowhere near being put on the year of whips. So that's that one. Now you've probably seen this one if you just watched my pre if you watched the previous my accomplishments for 2018. I had done this one, but I have to be real careful here. I don't want to show the pattern. But I now want to do that one. For a friend of mine who uh, they have bees and I just think that in their new house it would look wonderful there's some material that I'm going to put it on once again this is one that has no stitch in it so before the date start I have to go in and put some stitches in that so I can get it started 
I love the first one so much. I've got a feeling that I will just get obsessed with that one. And that one is not very big at all. So it should be fine. Now we've all seen the um, Henpeck Plum Street series. Uh, I got the Henpeck one. I want to get them all. But I bought the Henpeck one when it first came out. And I've got the material that it's going to go on. It's got its own project bag and everything. Just haven't put a stitch into it yet. Um, so that's going to be on my year of whips. Along with Basket of Red, White, and Blue from Shakespeare's Peddler. I did her egg one in the previous video. You saw that. And I just not have, I don't even got the material for it. Just haven't put it together. I even have the boxes for it. I haven't got the boxes for it. So that's going to be one. This is another pattern that Sweary Stitcher Regina bought for me and gifted me. And I want to get it done this year. So I've got the material for it. Right there. And I want to make the, uh, the needle case out of it. So that's that one. Uh, next set that I want to do is I've already got, um, I've already got November started. And you see all this in my regular video. I just showed it. There we go. I love the material that this is on. It is so deep and rich. But I also have, I skipped October. But I have the material for October. So that's going to be beautiful, isn't it? So, and then the last one of this series is November. And I wanted to do a red. And I thought it's either going to be on February it's going to be on Christmas. I don't know which one. February was that beautiful yellow that I fell in love with when I saw it. I said, that fits February. So, Christmas gets the red. And it looks a little orangey there. It is not. It is bright Christmas red. And I love it. So, those are the two of the series that I have. Now, you saw this in my What I Finished. And why I'm showing this is because it's got a lot of material behind it. I bought all the material that uh, Needleworks had uh, in stock when I got it. Because I'm going to put the bee, I'm going to put quite a bit of the Bee Cottage series on here. So, I have the beekeeper. Is that what you want to call it? Yep, the beekeeper. And three bee mini sample. Isn't that cute? I love it. So, <clears throat> These are some of the ones that they offer on the back. So, you see, I've got other ones that I could choose from, too. <coughs> Sorry. And put on there. So, those, they're going to be on my year whips. So, I really want to see them done. Um, this is a biggie. This is cowboy boots. This is the one my husband bought me when I first started stitching. And I think it was a little too much for me at the beginning. There's a ton of color changes in this. Um, and I did not like the material that I was working on either. So I went and changed it up and bought some different material. This is, this is beautiful. And that's as far as I've gotten. Because I had started it and I started moving and grooving on it and really digging it. And Sarah brought the puppy home. And I've got to stay focused on that one um, because the other one I had gotten off a little bit and I was always like trying to fix it in some way. Um, so I really want to stay focused on that. He's at a point now where I think that I could sit down and maybe get a good solid little sit down and get some stitches in him. Uh, you see me working on Christmas Lantern. Uh, fell in love with this piece. Still love this piece. And um, I showed it in my video yesterday, but this is where I'm at with it. It's lovely. I mean, it is just lovely. So it's going on my year whips. Two Angry Birds. I've wanted to do this for a very long time since I first saw it. And by the way, 
This is still on clearance at Jen Stitch and Niche. I want to say two or three dollars. Nothing really for this beautiful pattern. Um, and we're doing a sale. There's me, Fat Cat Flossing, and Tash the Star Cross Stitcher. We're kind of doing this loose sale. Just join us, get two Angry Birds. I think uh, Fat Cat Leslie Hurley has the same one I do. Tosh ha has a different two Angry Bird. Grab two Angry Birds, sounds, and join us. Just jump in there. This is as far as I've gotten on it so far. And that is because I've got off on the Christmas Lantern and um, Here Lies My Needles, which is another one that I'm putting into my year whips because I want to see it finished. And this is where I've gotten on that. And it's not anywhere as different than I showed in my video yesterday. So I won't spend a lot of time on that. I do have a Christmas start that, that when I started, I'm going to put it on the year of whips. Um, it is the nativity scene that I talked about in my uh, 2018 wrap-up video where you saw the Medieval Manuscript 1. I want to do Medieval Manuscript 2, but I also want to do this one. And uh, I, I love the colors in this, those greens and blues. They're very beautiful. So I have the material for it. It is the same material that I did the manuscript on. I have everything I need, all the sparkly clinic stuff that I need to get that started. So that's going to be my Christmas start. I'm going to start start it on Christmas because we're going to celebrate Christmas this Saturday. So Christmas Eve and Christmas, we're going to be at home, quiet, just the four of us. So that'll be really nice. And I'll have time to stitch on that. Now, that is my plans for year whips. I'm going to have to watch the video. I'm a little nervous about having to do the albums. i got to figure that out. Um, but I know that it'll challenge me to get my my whips going. Although I'm, I'm, I stitch all the time, so I don't have a problem with keeping my stitchy bug going or, or getting things complete. But uh, it will keep me digging out the ones that I love that kind of get shuffled to the back. And then I have some other stuff. I don't necessarily want to do it for um, your whips. Well. Sorry, I reworded. I heard a scratch at the door, so I'm gonna pause you and go peek and see what's at my front door. Hi, and welcome back. I had a little interruption yesterday. Um, uh, you'll be able to tell at the. I'm gonna combine the two, and you'll see that I'll be wearing a different clothes. But it, you saw that I was uh, filming, and I heard a strange noise at the door. Sound like a scratching, and I was like, "What was that? It just didn't." sound right so i went to the door and i peeked out and there's baxter my chewini at the front door scratching and i'm like what is he doing around here so i quickly opened the door grabbed him up ran out back to see what was going on well there was a hole in the fence from the big boy and uh, they had gotten into his pen and they had snuck out his hole out of the hole that the big boy made and uh, baxter just got out the side fence and came right around and scratched on the front door. How do I, I don't know how I even knew that was the front door. Only time he's been through the front door is pretty much when we brought him over here when we moved. So he got out, he got at the front door, he scratched, which was great because it made me run out and look. However, Ted was fine. Ted never went out the hole. Um, so I quickly locked up the, the gate to make sure that they couldn't get back out into the other pen and uh, went to look for Daisy. And I spent all oh, day looking for Daisy. I walked up every street. My first thought was, oh my gosh, she probably got hit, you know, she just, because she's deaf and half blind. And uh, so I walked up the main street right by her house is a main street. And I was like paranoid that she'd gotten hurt. But she wasn't on any of the streets. And so I started walking up blocks. I walked down to the dollar store, which is two blocks down, because I thought there's a bunch of people always there. She might go that away. Um, it, and then I'd stop and I'd listen, and if I heard dogs barking, and I'd go in that direction. Um, she didn't get picked up by the pound or any of that. So um, that night, uh, we were going to listen to Billy and Chance play, and so we left. And I was like, I mean, you know, hey, have a good time when your puppy's missing. You know, the puppy's had for 14, 15 years. Um, so when I got in there, 
My sister's actually the one who I got Daisy and Teddy from. She was breeding way back then, and uh, she had the mama doodle bug, and Chief was the dad. And uh, so I told her, I said, I'm going to tell you now because I'll probably cry if I think about it later on again. So I'm just going to get it out and tell you. So I told her what happened. And she goes, do you have a picture of her? And I was like, yeah. And so I sent her a picture, text her a picture. And she put it on a Facebook page called Central Texas Lost and Found Pets. I didn't even know there was something like that existed. And uh, so she put it out there and, you know, said lost this morning, you know, a little description told them that, that she was deaf and half blind and things like that and uh, not 15 minutes after she did that um, she got a notification and what had happened is that there's obviously several groups out there for lost pets and uh, somebody had picked Daisy up down right past the dollar store there's a gas station they picked her up at the gas station she was running around down there and so they picked her up and they took her home or wrapped her in a blanket which she was fine and uh, I didn't know she was fine, but she was fine. And uh, they posted a picture of her on another Facebook page that says, Anybody seen this? Anybody know who might know the owner of this cute little dachshund? You know, she's uh, described her a little bit, described Daisy. And, and Tammy was like, is, is this Daisy? And I was like, oh, my God, that's Daisy. And so my sister contacted her. And uh, we were not in town. Of course, we went out. And so I called James, and James ran down the road. And it was two blocks, three blocks, just down the road, and picked her up. When I talked to the lady, I said, yeah, I said, I think she's Daisy. I said, uh, is she deaf? Does she, is almost all her teeth gone? Does she have bad breath? You know, and all this. And she goes, yeah. She goes, um, she goes, but does she like to get in a blanket and just lay there and cuddle? And I'm like, yep, that's Daisy. So when we got home, last night um daisy was so glad to see us she was so happy um so that's why i've got this big clip in here you know because it's a whole day apart almost 24 hours apart to finishing up my plans for 2019. i will say that once we found out that daisy because we were sitting in a group at the at the brewery so everybody heard the story so then when everybody heard the story that daisy was safe um and I, I really don't drink a lot. I don't like beer that much. But uh, my husband had ordered this beer. Crazy brunette. I don't know. Anyway, and it was really good. Especially when it was just out of the tap and it was really cold. So I was just, just sipping on his. And um, then somebody bought me a beer. And another person bought me a beer. And my beer never ran out all night long. So, oh my lord. Because Daisy was found. They were celebrating and just buying a beer. Um, so I got a little drunk last night, and I don't get drunk. I don't usually drink. <laughs> so it was a good celebration. And Daisy was in with me uh, earlier today for a long time. But then she wanted to go outside, so she's outside right now. So after I woke up this morning and shook off the headache I had from the beers I had to drink last night, had to drink, um, all is good, and we're going to finish up with uh, my plans. I do believe we had just talked about my uh, nativity one that I want to do, and that'll be my Christmas starts. Um, and that was all of my cross stitch and what I my, my plan to do the year of whips. But I have some other whips that are not cross stitch that I really want to um, work on this year also. And that I have another stamped pattern that my daughter started. And she really didn't like it, so I want to finish that up just to get it out of the the pile and get it made into something. Um, I also have a stamped piece for uh, a sampler for the flag, and I started working on that. It just I don't know I saw it in the at one two three stitch and I thought I like that I think I'm gonna get it so I did, and this is where I've gotten on it. So I'd like to move a little forward on that to get that done. And then, of course, I have um, more of these Aunt Martha's stamped ones. Uh, wow. You've seen on the bell, the uh, reindeer in the house. I got one more of each of those that I want to get done. And then maybe get some more. I did buy transfer pins so I can make my own. And uh, make a, I think I'm really going towards the Christmas hanging. 
The other things that I want to work on is I, I've got a few cross stitch, I'm sorry, crochet projects that um, I've been working on and, and got away from and I need to get back to. And so this, <laughs> and this is my piddly little start on a little blanket that I was going to make. Um, and that was just because I really fell in love with this color and decided I want to make something out of that and started making a, uh, a blanket, probably more of a lap throw. And then I bought some of this stuff, which is that it's kind of scrunchy and scratchy to make uh, dish pads, scrub pads. Um, and I'm going to have to start over. I ugh, don't like working with it at all. But they're small projects, and I'm going to try to get uh, one or two done. Uh, Y'all seen this before. It's going to be a little baby blanket. But I uh, haven't moved forward on that, so I, I need to move forward on this. The baby's going to be grown. And then the last thing that I want to work on and definitely get this finished is the quilt that I'm making for baby G. So I do believe that when I splice these two together, you will see my your whips. You'll see my other plans to uh, crochet and, and finish that quilt. Now I will say that I know a lot of people are doing no start 2019 and, and things, and that's great. I'm not going to do that because a market's coming out, and if I, I see something like I saw the bee thing last year, I know I'm going to want to buy it, and I'm going to want to start it. So... I'm hoping for as productive 2019 as it was for 2018. I loved everything I did in 2018. After cover, um, um, I'm glad Daisy's home. Uh, Robert's ordered uh, pickets, so we have to fix the fence now. And that won't be delivered till after the 26th, the day after Christmas. So our New Year's weekend will be spent um, fixing the fence. So anyway, I hope everybody has a great start of 2019 and a great ending of 2018. Uh, 2018 wasn't a bad year. I'm just looking forward to 2019. Everybody have a great day. I'm going to leave you with put some thread and needle and get to stitching. Bye y'all.